Okay, so before we begin, I'm going to give a quick introduction. So my name is Agnes. I am the social media coordinator and the marketing director for Three Wins. So I'm in charge of the background of what goes on with what you see on our social media pages. We are in charge of community outreach and making everyone come together so you all stay updated with our current events and anything that happens when it comes to three wins. And I have Alex here who is one of my successors and my partners. So Alex, if you can introduce yourself. Before I introduce myself, would you like me to translate what you just said? Of who you are? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, just real quick. So Agnes is la coordinadora y directora de social media. Está encargada de hacer las publicaciones en Facebook y Instagram. Y nuestra meta es solo crear una comunidad um, más ahorita que no podemos estar juntos. Es muy importante que estemos vir virtual. Así que eso es nuestra meta. Um, now I'll introduce myself. My name's Alex and I assist Agnes um, with the social media, I'm fairly new, but I've been learning a lot and I'm very excited to help all of you and create a community in this social media. Mi nombre es Alex y yo ayudo a Agnes con social media en Instagram y Facebook. Y estoy emocionado de ayudarles a ustedes y crear esta comunidad. Thank you, Alex. And Below me, I have Yesenia right under me and Jesus right next to Yesenia. We have Jesus and Yesenia joining us today to do some Spanish translations and to answer any questions in Spanish. So I'm going to go and start my screen. Okay. So you all can see this, correct? So we are starting today, you are here today in our webinar to see how to make an Instagram and a Facebook. Hola a todos, están aquí para aprender cómo crear una cuenta de Instagram or Facebook. So you must be asking yourself, why should I have an Instagram and a Facebook? We will get into that question, but as of right now on the right portion of your screen, you can see all of our outlets that we have starting with Instagram you can I also added all the links on here as well so you can look at this up on your phone on your Safari Google Chrome on your desktop whichever you prefer but for our Instagram we you can look up at three wins fitness all together lowercase for our Facebook we do have a official Facebook account for three wins called hope destiny the link is on there as well and then we have a three wins fitness page which would be the facebook.com slash three wins fitness and then we actually have what we're actually very excited to bring to all of you is our three wins fitness VIP community in which we will be offering special classes such as Zumba dance yoga anything you can pretty much think of and in order to be one of our VIP members and get exclusive access, you do need to follow us on our Hope Destiny Facebook page. Okay, okay, por qué debería tener un Instagram or Facebook? Um, es, ahorita les vamos a explicar por qué. Aquí miran, son las redes sociales de Three Wins. Tenemos nuestra cuenta de Instagram abajo. Tenemos Facebook y esa es nuestra cuenta oficial que se llama Hope Destiny. Después abajo tenemos nuestra página de Three Wins que publicamos mucho de nuestros ejercicios y estamos en vivo. Y abajo es nuestra nueva página, o no es página, es grupo de la comunidad VIP de Three Wins. Y ahí vamos a tener clases de baile y zumba. Um, so es lo, los gustaría invitarlos a ustedes ahí. Y pueden tomarle foto a esto si quieren o ver la grabación después. 
So going back to our question, why do you need an Instagram? Why should I have an Instagram or a Facebook? We want you to be a part of our community and stay updated with our current events. So right here onto our left side, this is a view of what our Three Wins Fitness page looks like. So recently we have promoted our VIP community page. We are also promoting like a countdown, for example, we, if we have a, a big event coming up for our 365 kickoff, we did a, a five-day countdown. So right here shows you that we had three more days left. We, at least for this month of July, we actually are promoting nutrition. That's one of our themes of July. So if you follow us on Instagram and on Facebook, you will see content that is related with nutrition. And then you can also see that we do post our live back to basics workout schedules. You can only find them not by email, but if you follow us on our social media pages. Over here to the right side, this is going to be our Three Wins Fitness page, which we you can contact us here. It's the same thing, a little different, but it's the same content when it comes from Instagram to Facebook. And then right to the very right corner, we have our Hope Destiny page. So if you search up Hope Destiny onto Facebook, it is a blue icon that says Three Wins Fitness. And that banner says Control Your Destiny. It is private. So you would have to friend request us. And then we will accept you. And that way you will become part of this valuable community that we have put together for all of you. Ok, ¿por qué debería hacer una cuenta? Como decimos, es porque queremos que sean parte de nuestra comunidad y para estar um, atentos de nuestros eventos. Si miran aquí en la izquierda, esa es nuestra página de Instagram y ponemos muchas publicaciones. Cada mes tenemos un tema. Este tema es nutrición y los vamos a enfocar en eso. Les vamos a dar consejos. Y todo eso. Por eso es muy importante que, que hagan una cuenta para que tengan acceso a, estos, a esas publicaciones. Después en la derecha tenemos el Facebook. Y, um, tenemos el Facebook y ahí es importante porque ahí hacemos nuestras sesiones en vivo. Hacemos ejercicios cinco veces a la semana y pueden estar con nosotros y ser parte de esa comunidad. Y también ahí publicamos Um, los temas del mes. Como dije, um, este mes es nutrición. Después, en la otra derecha dice Hope Destiny, que es nuestra cuenta privada. Y dice Three Wins Fitness en azul. Y van a tener que agregarnos porque es privada. Y solo los agregan como amigo. Y nosotros lo, um, le vamos a agregar de regreso para que tengan acceso a esas clases de Zumba y otras clases que um, de, uh, vamos a dar. Okay, so for here, what you need is your Instagram, a Facebook, and an email and or a phone number. So we're going to do a little workshop. So either if you're on your phone, grab your laptop, grab your iPad, or if you're on your desktop, your computer, your laptop, grab your phone. That way we can do this together. This is going to be an interactive experience. So right here you will see if you go onto the apps on your phones, these are the icons that is for Instagram and then for Facebook. Lo que va a necesitar ahorita, um, pueden encontrar si están en computadora, está bien, o pueden hacerlo en celular, porque lo vamos a, vamos a hacer la cuenta ahorita con ustedes para que tengan ayuda. Y van a necesitar la aplicación de Instagram y la aplicación de Facebook um, para, para crear sus cuentas. Okay, so we're going to start with Instagram because most of our participants don't have an Instagram and we want all of you to be able to have as many outlets of free wins as you can. We do have very good communication with both our social medias, whether it's Facebook or whether it's Instagram. So as for Instagram, right here you will see that this is how it would look like on your on your cell phone, on your telephone device. So you have two options when you are creating an account. Option one 
is to log in using a Facebook account. So right over here, you can actually see that it gives you that option. So if you already have a Facebook, you wouldn't have to put in all that information that you would need to if you were to create a new account. So down below here, if you don't have a Facebook and you want to create a whole new account or you just don't want to connect your Facebook to your Instagram, down below right here, you'll see where it says sign up. So if you're on your phone, you would, down, you would go to your app store, which we'll go back to that. But right now we are showing the two options that you can do in order to create an account. So your option two would be create a whole new account. Okay. And vamos a empezar con Instagram, porque varios de nuestros participantes no tienen Instagram, ya tienen Facebook. Entonces, hay dos opciones para crear una cuenta. La primera opción es, si ya tiene una cuenta de Facebook, es mucho más fácil porque solo um, ponen continúan, continúa con su uh, cuenta de Facebook y entonces no deben poner la información porque lo hace automáticamente. Después hay opción dos, si no tiene un Facebook, entonces va a poner abajo um, y va a crear una nueva cuenta y eso es lo que vamos a hacer ahorita para ayudarles con esa información. So for this slide, it shows you how it looks like on your desktop version. So if you are doing this, if you are on this meeting on your phone and you are looking at the Instagram on your desktop, this is how it's going to look. So it's the same thing, two options, logging in through Facebook or creating a whole new account. Oh. Um, entonces aquí solo vamos a poner, perdón. Aquí, um, si están en computadora, va a ser similar. Pueden um, entrar con su cuenta de Facebook o abajo también va a decir crear una nueva cuenta y van a poner la nueva información. First things first, we're going to open. Okay, so we're going to go click a brief video of a tutorial on how to create an account. So this is showing on a cellular device. So going into opening up your Google Play, if you are on an Android device or if you have an Apple phone, an iPhone, then you would go into your app store. So just briefly listen to this video. It goes by quickly. So after this, we will do a brief pause. And if anyone has any questions, then that would be your time to ask when it comes to Instagram. Open up our app store, search up Instagram, Download it, open, it'll take you to the home page where you can log in if you already have an account or log in with Facebook or click down below where it says sign up to create a new account. It'll ask you for your phone number or email, either one works. This is for verification purposes. So once you submit this, go back to your email or go back to your text message and enter in the confirmation code that was sent to you. You will then add your full name, create a password, one that you will remember. You will add in your birthday, and you have officially made an account. So once you press next, it'll give you the option you can find your Facebook friends here. You can sync in your contacts. We'll then add a profile picture, save your login info if you'd like, and it'll take you to discover people, which you can skip this portion. But for demonstration purposes, I will be showing you how your feed will look like. So I will follow a couple of accounts. Now you can swipe down on your phone to refresh your page and swipe up to look through your feed. If you click to the bottom right portion, it'll take you to your profile. Right now, we don't have anything on here. So if we click Edit Profile, you can see your name, your username, a website if you have one. You
Okay, we're going to take a brief pause. And if anyone has any questions here, you are more than welcome to ask them now or ask them in the chat. Let us know if we were going too fast as well. Um, that's why we're pausing right here real quick. If you have any questions on what you just saw in the tutorial. Alguien tiene algunas preguntas que tienen para hacer el Instagram? Okay. Since no one has any questions, or if you do end up having any questions, we can move on. Now we do have a Spanish, Spanish version as well of a tutorial on how to do this. And we are going to skip this portion. Again, this will all be uploaded and sent via email so you all have access to this. If you know anyone that would need something like this, need some a tutorial on how to make a social media account, then this would be great for them because we both have an English and a Spanish version. To make up. So now we actually have a tutorial on how to make a post. So briefly. Post. Click the plus sign on the bottom of your. Uh, Agnes, I don't think we can hear the audio. It's being a little weird. Press next. And as you swipe yep. to the left, you can see everything. Can you restart it? Then you, to make a post, click the plus sign on the bottom of your page. It will ask you to access your photos. You'll press OK, and it will pull up your camera roll. It will give you the option to post one picture or video or post multiple. When you press select multiple, it will allow you to share up to 10 photos and videos in one post. Here I will be selecting two pictures and one video. Press next and as you swipe to the left, you can see everything that I have selected. Then you press next again. Write a caption. Here you can add your hashtags. Press OK. And share. And it has successfully added to your post. If you go to the magnifying glass next to the house portion on the bottom, it will take you to the explore page. And the search, you can look up Three Ones Fitness. Click the very first one and go ahead and give us a follow. And obviously we have a Spanish version as well, but before we go into Facebook, anyone has any questions about how to make a post, about any of the icons that are on here? Because we did not go through exactly all the buttons that are on Instagram. Since we're already on here, I might as well talk about the structure of the Instagram. So again, we did talk about the plus sign down here. Oops, excuse me. So we have the plus sign that's down here. This is your button to add a post onto the feed. You have your edit profile, which would come out right up here. This plus sign up here would be if you didn't add a profile picture when you were already making your account, then you can come back to that and add that right over here. And then this icon right here, if you click that one, and again, this is the format of how it looks if you were on your phone. So this one shows you all the photos that you are tagged in. So people are, if you have the option to allow people to tag you, then people have access to seeing what you're tagged in in this icon. So right now we are in the bottom right icon where it looks like a person. 
If you go to the one on the left side where the heart, that will be showing you all your notifications. So if someone likes your post, if someone commented on your post, someone tagged you in something, then that will show up on this button. And again, right over here, the magnifying glass icon, that is your explore page where you can search other people and follow them and see whatever you'd like. And then this house is your home page. So it'll show you all the pictures, all the videos that your followers are posting. So we're now going into Facebook. So Facebook is a little different, but creating an account is, is similar. So the thing is, is you can't, you can't connect your Instagram with Facebook. So this one only has one option and the option is to create a whole new account. So right down below here, we'll say create a new account. And then this is the desktop version. The same thing right over here is where you'll add in your first and last name. You can either choose email or phone number, which would be the second line underneath. And then you'll add your password, obviously something that you can remember. It'll ask you for your birth date, and then it will ask you for a gender, male, female, or custom, and then you would click sign up. Agnes, would you want me to translate? Yes, please. Can you go back uh, the slide before? Okay, um, so aquí tenemos Facebook. So este, esta aplicación va a ser poquito diferente, pero casi similarmente a Instagram. Lo único aquí es que no puedes conectar um, tu aplicación de Instagram. So aquí tienes que hacerlo um, usted solo con su apellido y su nombre. En la próxima, Agnes, can you please? Yeah, thank you. So aquí, um, si lo está haciendo en la computadora, va a poner su nombre y su apellido, y luego su ele um, elect uh, correo electrónico, y luego su clave que usted va a creer para, para um, entrar a su cuenta. Luego va a poner si es hombre o mujer, y también va a poner um, su fecha de nacimiento. Y luego de allí puede um, presionar el botón verde que dice sign up, y luego ya, ya, ya hizo su cuenta. Okay, thank you, Yesenia. So now that we have gone into creating our accounts, and hopefully if you did not already have an Instagram and a Facebook, one or the other, or maybe both, that you now know how to do it. So we are now going into in depth about what are hashtags and why should we use them. So we're going to look at a brief video discussing the importance of hashtags. What is going on? what people are saying about your business proper hashtags to post about it and if you're a business owner you can actually track what people are saying about your business using hashtags first i want to give you a few reasons why you should be using hashtags number one being that you're able to monitor your reputation and what people are saying about your business it's always good to know what people are saying about your business and using a proper hashtag you can actually see what people are saying. So let's just say that your business is hashtag Hayden Pedal. Hashtag Hayden Pedal, if people are saying hashtag Hayden Pedal effing sucks on Instagram, you want to know that it's a really easy way in order to follow your own business and see what people are saying. Number two is it allows your product or service to speak louder than your competitors. If you can get people using hashtags in a collective area in your small town, whatever it may be, and everyone's using the same hashtag, you are gonna stand out compared to other people. People are gonna know your hashtag. They're gonna see it from their friends and their family. They're gonna know exactly what your business is and what you're all about. Number three, you're able to use hashtags in order to build a community. People are gonna use your hashtag to talk about your business and they can also follow that hashtag and talk to other people who are using that hashtag themselves. Number four is engagement. And guys, you have no clue how important engagement is when it comes to algorithms on growth, everything. Engagement is key. And if you can get people engaging in your business by using your hashtags, you are going to be one step ahead of your competitors. Number five is free promotion. Everybody's always looking to get free promotion. Guys, imagine that you were able to get it completely for free just by people using hashtags in order to talk about your business. If you can get yourself out there and people talking about your business using your hashtag, like I said, you are going to get free promotion. People are gonna to start to know who you are and they're gonna look on that hashtag. If somebody, if one of their best friends uses a hashtag, hashtag, 
Hayden Peddle, they're going to be like, why are they using hashtag Hayden Peddle? They're going to go in there and they're going to look and see exactly what that is. And they're going to see what other people are posting about that same hashtag. So now that we know the importance of hashtags, how the hell do we get started using them? First things. Okay, so in the video, he touched up on five points of the importance of hashtags. Now, as for how are hashtags useful for you, is that you are allowed to, let's go to the next portion, because we have three hashtags that we would like for you to use. And our first hashtag is hashtag three wins fitness. And our second one would be hashtag journey, journey 365 journey to health and then a third one which is hashtag back to basics so our second which is our hashtag 365 journey to health is our new program that we that we kick started starting in on wednesday and then we had our spanish session on thursday so this is a free program and if you have not been registered yet then go on to three wins slash journey where you can register with us this is a great program where you can work on your fitness and this isn't about shortcuts this is about lifelong fitness and your health and what can you do to feel better to move better and just overall feel healthier and for our our third hashtag, which is hashtag backs to basics, it is the program that is incorporated into our 365 journey to health, which is B in short, we call it B2B back to basics. So again, it is for those who have trouble coming up and off the floor, we have different fitness levels. So even if you easily come up and off the floor, then we have programs that are designed for this specific fitness levels and they're all tiered to you. So these are the hashtags that we like to use onto our social media pages. And again, one of the points that was said in the video was that it builds a community. So the more that the people will use these hashtags, the more that we can find you and the more that you can find our content. And when you use this hashtag, you allow others in our community to also see what you're posting. So again, because this is a community, we want to create a inviting and welcoming environment for all of us. That way we all feel comfortable enough to share our journeys. If Yesenia can translate that. Yeah. Okay, so can you move the before the site. Yes. So aquí tenemos que son hashtags y para qué los vamos a usar. So um, los hashtags um, los ayuda a hacer una comunidad con nosotros y con ustedes. So cuando ustedes pon, uh, ponen una foto o un video en Instagram o Facebook, es importante que ustedes pongan los hashtags y más a rato les voy a enseñar cuáles hashtags que pueden usar para que nos den um, la promoción y luego también se, se haga nuestra comunidad más grande. Um, luego así es más fácil para ustedes um, encontrar nuestra, um, nuestras cosas que nosotros hacemos o los videos vivos, um, los ejercicios um, en nuestra página. So, tienen acceso a más con estas hashtags. So, por eso es um, importante um, usarlos cuando los usen en Instagram o Facebook. Y también nos dan um, gratis promoción. So, más gente puede mirar um, nuestra, lo que estamos haciendo con ustedes. So, ya saben que nuestro 365 Camino a la Salud, eso es un proyecto que, que iniciamos y vamos a empezar con ustedes. So, um, ustedes pueden poner um, ese hashtag para que más gente lo pueda ver um, en, en otro estado, pretty much um, en todo el mundo. So, es, es más fácil a, um, encontrar um, nuestra información así. So, aquí tenemos los tres hashtags que, que ustedes pueden usar y que son los más que se usan. So, aquí el primero va a ser hashtag 3 fitness So, ese hashtag es... Um, Como ustedes ya saben, el nombre de nuestro programa. So, ahí pueden usted um, hallar información de todo lo que estamos haciendo, como ya les dije. So, um, 
nutrición, um, clases en vivo y también ustedes pueden ver otra gente que, que puso ese hashtag y lo que ellos están haciendo. So, también um, pueden hallar un nuevo amigo o amiga y ahí pueden hablar. El segundo es 365 Journey to Health y como les dije, ese es el hashtag de nuestro nuevo programa que iniciamos y vamos, well, estamos comenzando. So, ustedes pueden um, poner ese para, para si van a poner un, una foto, un video en Instagram o Facebook para que, pa que otros vean su progreso o lo que ustedes piensan de nuestro programa. Y luego también el tercero es Back to Basics. So ese es, esos son los um, programas que ustedes ya saben que, que están usando para ver los ejercicios. Depende en, en, en su um, calidad de física. So ustedes pueden poner eso también. Um, y esos son los tres que, que pueden usar y pueden hallar en, en Instagram o Facebook. Thank you, Yesenia. So now we have officially ended our webinar. So again, these are our social media three wins outlets. So Instagram at three wins fitness, Facebook, our official Facebook account is Hope Destiny. And then we have our three wins fitness page, which would be facebook.com slash three wins fitness. And then we have our three wins fitness VIP community page, which would be at facebook.com slash group slash three wins fitness VIP. Okay, so um, ya, ya terminamos esta junta y aquí tenemos um, las páginas de nuestras redes sociales que ustedes pueden seguirnos en. So en Instagram, ahí ven que ahí tenemos a 3 Wins Fitness y luego Facebook tenemos una cuenta Hope Destiny que ustedes pueden um, ag agregarnos um, para ser um, amigos y luego ustedes ahí pueden ver um, más información. Y luego claramente nuestra página de Three Wins Fitness también. Y luego algo nuevo que estamos haciendo es la com comunidad VIP de Three Wins Fitness. So ahí como Alex les dijo, um, ahí van a agarrar um, acceso a, a, a clases exclusivas como más sesiones de Zumba, de yoga um, y, y más cosas. So yes, ahí los puedes seguir nosotros. Algunas preguntas que ustedes tengan? Yes, any questions right now? Whether it's you're having trouble making your accounts or whether any questions about our webinar today or even if it doesn't have to do something about what we covered today. Algunas complicaciones que ustedes tengan en crear su cuenta de Instagram o Facebook, los pueden decir o cualquier comentario que ustedes tengan también. I have a question about the hashtag. Yes. Um, can you tell us more about when you use it or how, how you get it? Yes. Alex, Jesus, you want to answer? Um, yeah, I, I can answer. So a hashtag um, you could actually follow a hashtag as well. And so pretty much what it is, it's like kind of like, a, I guess you can call it a sort of, it's not a page, but it's a category. And for example, if we put hashtag nutrition, right? You can search up a hashtag just like if you were searching up a, an account. And you would just, let's just take that example, nutrition. If you put just hashtag nutrition, a lot of people's posts, a lot of different accounts will come up and it's a way for outreach. That's really what it is. And then you can just click on different accounts and you'll see a, uh, a lot of posts about nutrition. So the way so, to, oh yeah. Oh, Keep what are you, um, what page are you on when you're searching hashtag nutrition? What, what app are you in? What are you talking about? Oh, yeah. So it's on Facebook and Instagram. So it's both of them. You can search it up wherever um, on the search bar where you search an account. Uh, that's where you would search a hashtag. You just have to put the, the hashtag symbol and then put a phrase or a word such as hashtag three wins fitness. And then that would come up. 
So, so on Instagram, there's a little magnifying glass at the bottom. You press that and then there's a search bar on top. Um, there might be a hashtag category that you can press on and you can, like Alex said, you can press, you can input um, nutrition and then press enter and then all the content will appear. Um, of course, with 365 Journey to Health, that's, that's a little bit more, I guess, compact. So you'll find, um, I guess, our content much easier as well. I want what if I, I want my if I want my own hashtag how do I create one or you can you can that, create is it the, yeah you can create your own hashtag the hashtags that we use is in order for us to find you and for you to find our community so for example right now I am on our Facebook page I'm on the home page right now so if I go into the magnifying glass this is your explore page. So on top you have your search bar, if you click on it and say, I'll put now the hashtag would be the pound sign. And then say I look up three wins fitness. It'll be the very first one. So when you click on it, it gives you all of our community. This is everything that we've posted so far. But how did you create your hashtag name, Three Wins it's the, same, it's the same as if you were to create your username, right? Say, my, my, my name is Maria Agnes Kuna. Say, that would end up being a hashtag, like hashtag Maria Agnes Kuna. But you want to tier it towards what you want people to come to. So if, say, you have a, a business for... For yoga and you're holding a class and you want people to find you then you can put hashtag yoga and that way everyone who are who's also using that hashtag can find you and see that you are holding a yoga class or if it's something more specific say three ones fitness is a very specific one so three ones fitness is our organization and that way because it's our name that we made it into a hashtag so others can find us I guess I, I don't quite understand how you made it into your name. It's really well, putting a pound sign or that hashtag right before the, the actual word. That, that's what makes a hashtag. And it has to be all together. Say it's a sentence, like make a change. Make a change is a sentence. If you put it all together without putting a space between them, that's what makes it a hashtag. Yes, to add on to that, um, a hashtag isn't like you don't have to go through this process of like making it it's it's as simple as adding the pound sign and then a phrase or a word and you can't have any space um spaces like agnes said and this you would put in your caption for example when you're making a post you would just write your caption and then right after you can put um hashtag uh, make a change like she said no space bar or anything and then there, there you go. That's how you create the hashtag, like you would say. So you could have a lot of hashtags for um, any, let's say you post some pictures of you, you're doing um, some exercise. And then you could say hashtag Alex something for mm -hmm. that picture. For yeah, those, yeah, that post. If you would like to, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the best way to do it, we we would say keep it relevant to your post. So then that way it shows up on other people's feed as like you wouldn't, for example, do yoga and then put hashtag nutrition month or something because it doesn't really correlate. Right. Um, uh, maybe one would be hashtag yoga stretches, hashtag uh, yoga tips, hashtag. And you can just come up with different ones. Mm -hmm. OK. Thank you. I want to give you an example. So one of our posts, if you click, for example, our VIP post, and right here we have it under the caption. It's actually in blue is the hashtag that we have. So it's a hashtag 365 journey to health. Because it's blue, that means you can actually click on it, and it'll immediately take you to all the posts that, that has used hashtag 365 journey to health. Okay. So it's like a hyperlink as if you were to put a link on there and it comes out blue and you click on it and it directs you to that website. It's the same thing. Okay. 
Thank and you. This actually is the same thing for Facebook as well. That if you are onto Facebook and you go onto the search bar, you can still put the pound sign and then the three wins fitness and it'll still show up all the content that has been used for that hashtag. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Any other questions aside from hashtags might be about even the program, maybe about our VIP page. Any questions? Oh, um, I, I'm Stephen.